Hey Purple Pizza Eaters, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm having Rambuki. This is ramen and thakbuki together. And I put some cheese on it and I got chopsticks today. And we have our kimchi. I mean, yeah, we have kimchi too, but we have um, seaweed. And I'm literally hungry and starving because I forget to eat sometimes. And this tripod moves a lot, so I apologize for the shaky footage. Whew. How are you guys doing? You noticed something different? I cut my hair myself. I cut my hair all by myself. I'm filming by the window, so it's always loud. So if you guys are hearing the outside, that is why. But I come in here myself. Mm. This is so good. I just wanted something, a change. Ooh. Oh, this is like splattering everywhere. Yeah, my hair was about eight inches long and I cut about seven or so inches off. I think it was maybe 10 inches because it was like to the middle of my back. But, uh, I just needed a change. It's springtime. This is like an instant thokbuki <laughs> kit. And it came with these like really thin noodles, but I wanted to add the ramen noodles cause I like the texture better. The thin ones are nice and they're super chewy, but I felt like it was way more thokbuki. to noodle ratio, so. Mm. Oh my gosh. These are gonna give me so much trouble. They're so slippery. Come on. I got it. Mmm. <laughs>
Korean food has had me in a chokehold. All I want to eat is like gimbap or got a cream barbecue. Oh my god. So freaking good. A little bit of a, like a life update. I'm gonna take a drink. I didn't bring a cup up here. Some Sprite. I'm not gonna drink all of this, but my um other soda wasn't cold, so I had to settle for some Sprite. <clears throat> yeah, I've made some um kimchi fried rice with um this is mother in law kimchi, but I have this other one that came from the Asian store. Oh it's so it was so good. Like, it tasted amazing. It was like so authentic. Um, it's just so good. I can't even explain it. It was just fire. So life update, I've been wanting to like get some evaluations done to see if I had like, like ADHD. And so I was like on the mission for like several months before finding someone that like did that did that type of testing. So after months and months and months of the runaround and like people saying one thing and you know, oh you have this and oh you don't have that and I'm just like I just knew that my brain processed processed things differently. You know what I mean? So came out that I have ADHD and that I'm on the autism spectrum too. Which shocked me because I'm like, what? Like, interesting. But yeah, I'm an adult with autism and I think it's good to know. Um, I'm not alone. There's a lot of women that have late diagnosis. So now I'm getting my daughter tested too. Or we're, we are waiting to hear back about her testing because I think hers is like six months out but um yeah I have autism and ADHD 
and I'm cool with it. I think people who think differently see the world differently. And I think that that's our greatest superpower. This brand of seaweed snacks are so flimsy. As soon as I put, oh, this is just gonna be a mess. My shirt looks like somebody paint splattered. This is very saucy. She's a saucy girl. Oh my gosh. Let's get a good bite. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Excuse me. So yeah, <clears throat> anyway, back to what I was saying. So if you are a person with ADHD or autism, or you're just neurodivergent in general, you can come around here and this is a safe space for you to like be yourself, you know, follow, someone that understands what you go through even though our lives are so different we can relate on that because people are like you don't even look like you have autism i'm like what does that even mean what does autism look like you know, I, like, do you hear yourself? That's like somebody saying like, oh, you don't look like you have sickle cell, you know? Like, how would you even know? You wouldn't know, right? Because it doesn't have a look. My family has been so supportive. Well, at least my mom has. She's like, <clears throat> she's like, wow, I didn't know. She was like, they were more so interested in like getting your brother tested than like you. I'm like, yeah, it's missed a lot in female children. I'm getting full. I'm full. I think I'm gonna take one more bite. It's making a good bite. I can do two at a time. I 
I cannot. I'm trying to do two at a time. Mm. I can't. They're so slippery. Yum, yum, yum. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, hold on. <laughs> okay, am I better? Okay, thank y'all. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in and joining me for another mukbang. I can't wait to get these out to y'all and film even more of them. I'm trying to play around with what I'm filming and uh, the varieties of food that I'll be trying. So keep watching the the shorts because they will continue to come um but yeah thank you guys so much until next time my pepper pizza eaters peace